Okay, so where were we? You remember, uh, and this is a second uh, video about uh, Petro of Suata, and it's really about Monte Carlo simulation. Oops, this is the, the, the not the teaching, that was, that was the teaching. I remember I was lamenting loudly maybe even irritating for you just how silly this whole thing was. Oh, wow, they put a 20% <coughs> standard deviation and the percent change in the way it plays with the 2.5. We got these crazy prices that in 2005 stayed below 10, mostly stayed below 20, one or two went, wow, up to 40. <laughs> Ridiculous. And then they make a distribution chart. This is a distribution when you get negative NPVs and positive NPVs using an absolutely absurd discount rate. And finally, we get a distribution of the DSCR. And in these cases, the DSCR is below one, above one. We add up all of this area, and that gives you the probability of default present some nice little statistics here, but what we really want to be able to do is we want to count these things. Pass some if kind of a function to get this. Now, how absurd. Now, what we're going to do is replicate this. They teach this to, they teach this to MBA students and have MBA students come out of school believing this stuff has any meaning they should be shot. No, they should that's too many. But it's just ridiculous. Okay. Heidi told me not to go after to get in trouble by going after people too much. And I'm I'm sorry, this is this is one that I have to do. So now what we can do is go back and you have to make a simple financial model. Now that's going to, whenever you do Monte Carlo simulation, making the financial model is the most important thing. So where are we? I'm looking at the next case study. Case study. Surata. So I don't want to go to the case study uh, or the, the file that we have for Petro Suarte Dev. So we're again starting from scratch essentially. Sure, this is, is really quite easy now. We have the, the CFADS, the buy production and oil price. Now we have to make a, another kind of simple uh, model, let's put rather. Okay, uh, rather let's have a start from the, the debt that gets repaid. Right. I've been starting a little early. Perhaps we'll start here. So let's put the uh, oil price multiplied by our production. Shift control. Yeah. Alt H9. Alt H9. My friend Filippo. Filippo, excuse me. Rio. He said, well, uh, can, you, can you do a little bit better job of uh, uh, explaining the shortcuts? So now. Let's take the uh, this minus the cash flow available for debt service, and that will give us a total OPEX. But these include uh, some some things that are variable and fixed. So let's out of that let's put the uh, loyalty. Another 
successfully negotiated a very low royalty and we're all happy and I get backfired on you know, this extremely low royalty they end up saying okay well then we can do this so I think it was a 30% royalty it was a 30% royalty right? I'm just looking at the, the timeline my discussion of the case, which I'm very interested in your comment, because it's a lot more fun to, hopefully that's what Heidi suggested, it's more fun to kind of discuss these things in the context of a real case, so let's put it on my tax rates. And I got just about 30%, was it 30, it was 35% of the I believe it was 35%, I've got to double check that. Uh, that was the production cost. Would have been 67%. Tax, 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 tax,
Excuse me for being so slow. Yes. the royalty room went up to, uh, uh, was supposed to go up to 16.33%. Uh, uh, I'm going to put that in. I think that's right. So that's just 16.33%. Thank you. 